Hi, my name is Paul Volkovinsky and I thought I would do a bit of a session with the gutter and I'm going to use a 7 kilo gutter for this. Um, one of the reasons is I've got to have a lot of inquiries lately about when you should upgrade to a heavier gutter or mace. And um, I think that before anybody does that, they should be able to do at least a 10 to 15 minute swing with a lighter weight gutter, like a seven kilo one, um, like I've got here. And um, I'm just before I start with that, I'm gonna go into what I do to warm up my shoulders. And I usually use meals, but I'm gonna use a, um, one of Mike Simpson's clubs. This is the military number four that he um, produces. This one weighs 2.2 kilos, about five pounds. And I'll do some circles with them, which you've seen me do before, but I'll just do, do them now to show you what I do. And I do 10 in each way. Now, what's very important about this circle is starting from up here, that as the club comes down here, you keep your arms straight and you do a transverse turn, because that prepares you to swing the gun, because you need to rotate your shoulders 45 degrees, straight on, 45 degrees the opposite way. And it's a very good way to get some transverse rotation going in your body. So we just do some of these very, very quickly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then reverse. One, two. And this is great for just getting the shoulder nice and mobile and all the synovial fluids moving in the shoulder. Okay, so that's, if you don't have a meal, this sort of club of five pounds is great for it. And on the other side, I'll do the same thing with a meal. This meal is four and a half kilos. So I'll swing it through. Right. One. Two. Now I'm just going to take you briefly through 
what I'm going to do. First of all, um, starting with the gather, I'm just going to take one of these staffs first. You'll see me change hands. So the, I'll start, always start with my right at the bottom, left at the top, and then every minute I change over. So there we go. So it's that and that. So every minute, every exercise I change, I change, I change over. So exercise do a 10 to, 10 to 2. I do it with this grip, and then I change over. I do it the next minute with that grip. And you'll see me do that. So the, just the order of exercises is 10 to 2s, left over right, right over left. Then I'm going to go to 10 to 2s with a 360. Same again, changing um, grips. Then 360s to the left and to the right, changing grips. 10 to 2s with alternate hands, so that's one hand at a time. And then a 360 with one hand and 10 to 2s with one hand. And then just some fun at the end of turns with the mace. And the whole thing takes about 14 minutes, so we'll just get rid of this. So hi, if you've just joined me, my name is Paul Wokovinsky and I'm doing a live session on the Gada mace. Now one thing that I really like, loved about going to India, and um, you've heard probably, um, if you've followed Marcus Quijas, um, you've seen him do it. I'm a great believer in it also, is that when the um, Palavans in the Akaharas start with the gala, they always touch the heads. They touch the head here, touch their head too. And it's like becoming one with the mace. So I think that's really important and I actually believe it because if you think about it, you're working on the frontal plane, you can't actually really see where the mace head is and I mean you, you really have to be focused on what you're doing and um, so you're avoiding damage to yourself and, and, and anything around you so you've got to have a nice clear area. Anyway, enough talk, let's go. Okay. So 10 to 2 is first. Nice pull down to the belly button. Coming up for a hand change. And reposition the hands. Same exercise, but with my hands in a different position. Okay, hand change coming up. Six. 
exercise. Full circle. That's what's coming up next. Together, they're slightly apart, about a finger width. Now, same grip to the left. See the left hand is going deep at the back, so it's the leading arm. stretch when the nose is at the back. Change of direction to the left. Same grip.
hand change. Same start, 10 to twos. Didn't do it. Left at the bottom, right at the top. Sometimes your hands want to go somewhere else. And not where you tell them to. So coming up, 360s, one handed. Front, deep at the back. One hand. Whoa. Didn't get that. Angle it right. change left side lost my time Okay, and, and change, back to work. 
we started. Left over right. And now, I've been messing around with turning. So this is basically turning to the right. Okay, here we go. Turn to the left and then back around again. One. And back. Other side. Two turns. Stress 
on your elbow, which is what happened to me when I first started. And I couldn't figure it out forever and a day. There was no videos about it. I couldn't understand why and what I was doing wrong. And then one day the pen dropped. So I'm passing on information. I used to hurt my elbows on a regular basis. And you really don't want to do that. So I hope that helps you. You know, lots and lots of practice and enjoy your mates and you don't have to go heavier yet. When you swing it, I do the same exercise, my next size up is a 10 kilo. And believe me, 14 minutes with a 10 kilo is a monster. So I, mean, I chose to do this demonstration with a seven kilo because I think I'd have been so winded with a 10 kilo, I wouldn't have been able to talk and tell you what I was doing as I was doing it. So you didn't see a lot of weight, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and this live session. And please, if you've got any comments and stuff, let me know. Bye for now. Happy May swinging.